Um, next up, I'd like to uh, introduce uh, Dr. Eva Abel uh, from our International River Foundation. Uh, Eva is going to be talking to us about rivers for future generations. So if Eva, you could come to the stage, we welcome your preach. Thanks, Andy. Um, and can you hear me okay? Thank you. Um, and I think following on from Darren, the previous speaker is really very apt. Uh, Darren, just very quickly, I'll have to say that we did run the Rivers on Fire dialogue last month and would love to talk more about it. So before I start, I'd like to quote something that I've read, uh, published in the journal Nature. And he talks about the world's rivers, the single largest renewable water resource for humans and a crucible of aquatic biodiversity are in a crisis of ominous proportions. And this is according to a global analysis done um, back in on the 30th of September, 2010. This was published in Nature. That was over 10 years ago. So subsequently, I was very privileged to actually be part of the um, of the project team or the authorship team that released the Asian Development Bank's uh, Asian Water Development Outlook. And in there, one of the critical um, summaries or conclusions was that over 80% of rivers in the Asia Pacific region are in poor health. So that's today. What is in store for future generations? These are very important assets to the world, but what are we doing to ensure that we still have rivers for future generations? And that's my talk for today. Thank you very much. Can I get, get on to my first slide, please? Lucia, can I click on my first slide? Oh, sorry, you've got it. Um, so talking about resilience, river resilience, um, you've heard about economic resilience. What is river resilience? So Lucia, I might have to um, open my other one because I can't read from the, um, from the little thumbnails. Sorry, that's better. Okay, now I can see it. So river resilience is the capacity of a river system and its associated communities to quickly recover. So the critical words here are recover from disturbances, adapt to changes without collapsing, and to transform through innovation and implementation of resilience strategies. So three critical words, recover, adapt, transform. Thank you. Next slide, please. So what is the Resilience River, Resilient Rivers Blueprint? So the, the Resilient Rivers Blueprint is a, 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 a collaborative product uh, released by the International River Foundation with a group of partners. And it's a global platform to assess the resilience of your respective rivers, but more importantly, to develop a river resilience strategy and to work with communities and other stakeholders to actually share your journey in, in um, achieving the, the resilience of your rivers. There are critical components or tools that have been developed as part of the blueprint. First, there are uh, self-assessment tools, which, which consist of a river journey and a river personality quiz. It will actually get you to self-assess where your rivers are. There's an external assessment process, which is about developing a river resilience report card. And more importantly, there's um, the Resilient Rivers Hub, that, that gives you access to these tools, but also a community of practice where you could share um, your information and your process of developing your Resilient Rivers strategy. Thank you, next slide, please. So why the Resilient Rivers Blueprint? Most of the rivers around the world are fragmented, degraded, and in poor condition, as I indicated before when I started my presentation. Global change continues to put pressure on these critical resources and water security. So what is in store for future generations if we're still continuing to degrade our rivers, which are now in a degraded status? So we need to ensure that our rivers will be there to provide services for future generations. And what I've put here as a last bit is Integrated Water Resource Ma Resources Management Plus Plus. Most of you working in rivers would be familiar with the Integrated Water Resources Management Principle, the platform and the process. It's been, um, it's actually, it had uh, significant traction in the last 20 years. And this is really our attempt to look at our rivers and understand our rivers holistically, but also plan for our rivers holistically. I've put a plus plus here 
because we, there are some components in integrated water resources management that need to be refined, that need to be enhanced to actually ensure that we actually head towards the resi resilience of our rivers. Next, please. So who can use it? Um, anybody who actually has responsibility or are passionate about their river systems, government, industry, NGOs, communities, and researchers, because at the end of the day, our, our vision is to actually have, um, is to enable the resilience of our rivers by addressing the complex social, economic, and ecological pressures associated with global change. Thank you. Next slide, please. So let me introduce to you the Resilient Rivers Hub. Uh, it's it's open. We just literally opened it for a pilot, um, for a for a, for an interaction for for um, for you to give feedback. So it's 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 called a, a a preview. We've opened it for preview. So it's not officially launched yet, but it's a preview. Uh, go to the www.resilientrivershub.com. Thank you. So two needs, two slides on need. First of all, I appeal to the for you to go on to our Resilient Rivers Hub, um, do the self-assessment. You will find doing the river journey very exciting. Think about your river system, plot where you are in the river journey, and then head towards doing your river personality. So river personality is like doing the Meyer breaks. You're, some of you would be familiar with that, where, where we as, as individuals actually have to know where, where our personality is so that we're able to perform better. Um, in our daily daily tasks, right? So we've developed one for river personality and you, you also have one there for river journey. Next, for the need two, is work with us. Assess and develop the resilience of your rivers. Um, first, work through, we will work with you to develop your river resilience report card, making note that it's not just about a whole of system understanding. It includes innovative um, finance mechanisms. It includes institutional arrangements. What are the best institutional arrangements to be in place to ensure that our rivers are resilient? It talks about cross-sectoral solutions. And then we use that. The report card will underpin the development of river resilience strategy. And I've put, I was very bold to put actually a nominal cost in there. Um, just that's basically to cost work uh, to to cover workshop costs and the use of our partners in terms of advising you for for specific financial mechanisms that will work in your river systems. Thank you. So finally, my last slide. I would like to acknowledge the independent science members. The the blueprint is actually is actually being developed and being refined um, by a group that has international representation. I would like to acknowledge the foundation partners. We have Deloitte, Healthy Land and Water, um, GEF, we have University of Maryland, and of course ourselves, the International River Foundation. Um, so these are the list of names. This is my email address, and this is a beautiful photo of a river. Um, that's that's um, our, my phone number. But I would also like to acknowledge my colleague who is attending today, Jackie Atik. And if any of the working group members are here as well, I would like to acknowledge that. I would like to thank Oksana from the International Water Center for giving me a chance. I could talk forever about rivers. Oksana knows that. The last, the last um, I think, plug I would like to give is that we are holding our International River Symposium for the first time virtually um, in November. Abstracts are open. So anything about rivers, uh, please submit an abstract, anything about waterways, anything about water. So um, there is a prospectus out there. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eva, for a fantastic insight into river health and river strategy. 